fun here because where else would anybody be but on Pacific Avenue in Santa Cruz, California to celebrate the changing of the year. Um, and what I'm going to do is join everyone else who's parading down the street and push off my beautiful garb. I'm here to be a participant in something that has become a tradition that should be legalized. I think we're at the point, we should have been at the point last year, but certainly this year, where this thing should have a ha Halloween parallel tradition and be allowed to happen. But what's seeming to happen is that with the lack of leadership, we're having like a pocket veto. No one's going to get popped. Everybody knows that, all right? And they're probably going to be more than the 75 that were last year when it started out. So I say Happy New Year and uh, uh, let's see Pacific Avenue happen the way it should. Halloween parallel, New Year's Eve on Pacific Avenue. Happy New Year, everybody! We are unstoppable. Another world is possible. How are you? I'm here because I've been here for the last seven years in the parade and I look forward to it every year. It's my, the highlight of my year because I, I'm just so excited to see what people come up with. You know, they got the best stuff. We're here with Women in Black and we meet every Friday for one hour. Uh, we have for eight years since the war in Iraq began. And while we pulled out of Iraq, our military budget is higher than it's ever been. And um, we are standing in mourning for all those that are dead and have died from war. So join us. I came down with friends for the New Year's. I want to talk about who profits when we go to war. Because I want peace on earth. It's cheaper, it's more fun, and I get to be with all kinds of different people in this world. If I go to war, I have to have an enemy. I don't want enemies. And this is a very low, this is a very conservative estimate, 2,771 homeless folks. And we only have uh, beds for 10% of those people. It's been a banner year for challenging the oppression of homeless people. These are just some of the people that died in between December the 21st of 2010 and December 21st of 2011.
abundance, surprising, unexpected abundance for everyone. Redistribution of wealth becomes the continuing factor, the surviving factor of Occupy, the Occupy movement, including Occupy Santa Cruz. I hope that we're ready as a country to do what the Scandinavians have done for 60 years. Now, I'm not saying we throw the baby out with the bathwater or kill the Romanovs, but we can certainly tax the rich. Prosperity and an end to homelessness, because I am. <laughs> My wish for the new year is that we withdraw from Afghanistan and that the 95% of Americans who are courageously coming forth and protesting the inequities in our country will prevail. That we are more at ease with each other, whether people are homeless or whether people are rich. Uh, the homeless people will continually be vigilant and continue to meet their own needs because the city council is not going to do it. So I'm hoping that tonight everyone here will occupy Belize headquarters and establish a new homeless sanctuary. After all, we have many uh, likely spots downtown. There's the uh, Rittenhouse Mausoleum, just a block up the street. We have the unused borders building. Long life and retirement to the entire city council. Uh, a, uh, a job far away from Martin Bernal, city manager, 